All right, folks, uh, give this a shot on your own by hitting the pause button, and we'll do it together. This is a fun one. So here it says there's 24 uh, different uh, permutations of the digits two, three, four, five, uh, and which makes sense because uh, with those four digits, you could have four different possibilities in the first uh, first number, right? Three different possibilities in the second number, two possibilities in the third number, and then one possibility. And if you multiply four times three times two times one, you get, uh, let's see, four times three is 12, and then two times one is two, so 12 times two is 24. So there are 24 different permutations of these numbers, two, three, four, and five. Uh, and now what we wanna do, it's kind of a daunting task, but we wanna add up all those 24 permutations, which is not gonna be easy, so let's do it. So if you think about it, there's gonna be 24 different numbers, uh, and we're gonna add, here is all the different numbers, and we're gonna add all 24 of them up. And, and we don't wanna do it one by one, only because, God, that'll take a long time. So what we wanna do is this. If you think about it, look at these numbers, two, four, three, five, for example, and then, you know, whatever, two, three, five, four, right? There's, there's all those permutations. If you think about it, like in the ones digits, you're gonna, you, you have to have the number two, right? Six times, and the number three, six times, the number four, six times, and the number five, six times. Like, no matter what the numbers are, those have to be evenly distributed. So uh, a two has to be at the end six times, a three has to be at the end six times, a four has to be at the end six times, and a five has to be at the end six times. How do I know that? Because there's 24 different permutations and there's four different digits. So uh, if you divide that, right, um, every, uh, every number has to appear equally in each spot. So there's gonna be six times each of those four digits will appear in the ones column. Uh, and then the same thing with the tens column, right? You're gonna have a two that appears six times, a three that appears six times, a four that appears six times, and a five that appears six times, and then so on. The same with the hundreds column, okay? And then same with, finally, the thousands column. All right, I'll just do it this way. Uh, you know, six, six, and six. So. Uh, the first column, this one here, is the ones, that's the tens, that's the hundreds, and that's the thousands. And now, it's literally as if we are just adding them all up. Um, so, then uh, there's a, f a couple ways to do this. Uh, here, if you go in the ones, let's go to the ones column first. If you go two times six, that's, right, that's 12. Uh, two, three times six, that's 18. Four times six, that's 24. Five times six, that's 30. So, in the ones column, you're going to get... 12 plus 18 plus 24 plus 30. Just imagine you're adding up a ton of numbers and, and you add all those up. 12 plus 18, let's just do that one, that's 30. 24 and 30, that's 54. And 30 plus 54 is 84. Uh, and then every one of these is gonna be 84, right? Because we're adding the same numbers. So in the ones column, you're gonna get 84 ones. Uh, and then here in the tens column, you're gonna get 84 uh, in the tens column, so you can kind of like think about it as 84 times 10. Uh, and then because we're all gonna, they're all gonna add up the same. In the hundreds column, you're gonna get, if you add up all those, you're gonna get 84, and those are all in the hundreds column, so each of those is 100, so you, you would multiply 84 times 100. And then obviously in the thousands column, you would get 84 in the thousands column. Uh, and that would be 84 in a thousand. So now we just, we can multiply those and add them. 84 times 1, that's 84. 84 times 10, that's 840. 84 times 100, 8,400. And then 84 times 1,000, that's 84,000. And now we would just add that all up. Uh, and this would be four, that would be 12. This would be 13. That would be 12 plus 13. That is the answer, 93,324. That is the answer. Just for the heck of it, had we gone back over here, I mean, another way to do it is literally if you add up all the ones, you'd have a four there and then you'd carry the eight. And then in that tens column, you'd have 84 plus the eight. So you'd have a two and then you'd have to carry the nine, right? The same kind of concept. And then in that hundreds column, you'd have 84 plus the nine, which is 93. So you'd have a three. 
and then you carry the 9, and then you have 84 plus 9, uh, and that would be, see, 84 plus 9, that's 93, right? So if you, if you calculated it that way, I mean, it would be the same thing, obviously. Uh, all right, great work. Um, keep up your math skills. You can hit this button right here for this next video. Uh, it will sharpen your math skills, I promise.